We all decided this school trip was going to be the best trip of our lives. I was especially excited because my crush was going to be there. I mean, what could go wrong? Famous last words, right? It was a week-long trip to the forest where we'd be studying various plant species for our science class. I was a total science nerd, so this was right up my alley. As soon as we arrived, we checked into our little cabins and set off on the first trek to a beautiful waterfall. I put on my new bikini and walked behind my crush Calvin the whole way there. I really wanted to speak to him, but I felt too shy. We eventually reached the waterfall and it was so beautiful. The guys all headed straight up to the top to jump into the water below, and I watched as one by one, they all jumped in. Suddenly, my friend said they were going to jump too, and I couldn't believe it. I was way too scared. But I didn't want to look like a chicken in front of everyone, especially Calvin. I felt kind of stupid, though. I was wearing this tiny bikini, and everyone else had proper swimming costumes on. I was the last one to jump, and everyone was cheering me on. I closed my eyes, held on to my nose, and jumped. I didn't even think about it as I jumped, but as soon as I landed with a huge splash, I realized something was wrong. My bikini top! It was gone! I looked everywhere around me, but I couldn't see it. My friends were getting out of the water and told me to hurry up, but I told them I'd catch up and that they could go on ahead. They laughed at me, and one of them said, Are you peeing in there? Gross! How embarrassing! As soon as they left, I started looking everywhere. I held my breath and dove down, but I couldn't see anything. This was a disaster. And then I realized my friend had a t-shirt in her backpack. But now she was gone! I thought about calling her back, but then she'd see me naked, and she'd probably tell everyone. No, it was better if I just hurried back to my cabin before anyone saw me. I did one last swim around looking for it, then crawled out onto the side of the river and ran into the bushes. I used two leaves to cover myself, and honestly, I felt ridiculous. I started scrambling through the bushes, and then suddenly, I heard someone screaming. I quickly ducked down, thinking they'd seen me, but then I realized it was coming from further away. Something must have happened. I hoped one of my friends wasn't hurt. I started running through the forest, but I was so focused on the screaming that I wasn't looking where I was going. The next moment, I was falling flat on my face. I tripped on a stone, and now my ankle was in agony. I started crying and grabbed my two leaves, then used a nearby tree to pull myself up. Now I could barely walk, and I was half naked. Great! It took me hours to make it back to the place where we were staying, and I knew that by the time I reached there, everyone would see me. There was no way I'd be able to hide. It was almost dark by the time I got there, and to my complete horror, the police were there. Oh my god. So something had happened to someone. I watched from behind a tree, and I could see the police talking to a few people. I tried to get a bit closer, and then I completely froze. It was my parents! No, this couldn't be happening! What were they doing here? And then, it clicked. I'd been gone for hours. They must have thought I'd been in some kind of accident or gone missing. The policeman was holding something, and I had to squint to get a better look. And then I realized what it was. My bikini top! I could feel my face turning bright red. This was so humiliating. I should have just stepped out and told them I was okay, but I was so embarrassed to have caused all this trouble over a silly bikini top. So I walked back into the forest and waited until the police had left and everyone had gone to bed. I was shivering by then and so, so hungry. Suddenly, I heard footsteps, and I crouched down to cover myself. Then, I realized it was just a deer. It ran off when it saw me. I waited another hour, and then I crept back to the cabin I was sharing with my three friends. The lights were off, and as quietly as possible, I opened the door and crawled towards my bed. My ankle was really hurting now. I reached my bed and was about to sit down when I felt my foot knock something. 
The loudest crashing sound echoed through the cabin, and then all the girls woke up and started screaming. Suddenly, a flashlight was on me, blinding me, and I threw myself onto the bed so they wouldn't see me sitting there half naked. The screaming must have woken everyone up, because the next moment, our teacher was running into our cabin, and the first thing she did was turn the light on. There I was, lying flat on my bed, trying to hide myself. Meanwhile, they all thought someone had just broken into the cabin. When everyone realized it was me, they started crying. My friends all came running to hug me, but then my teacher started shouting at me, saying how irresponsible I was for running off like that. Turns out, my bikini top had floated down the river, and my friends had found it at the next waterfall, and thought I'd had an accident. They hadn't been able to find me anywhere. The teacher went to get my parents, who decided to stay the night in the cabin next door, and they were so relieved to see me alive and well. Luckily, by that point, I had some clothes on. Needless to say, nobody was very impressed, but hey, we can all laugh about it now. Honestly, moral of the story, rather embarrass yourself for five minutes than have people think something much worse happened to you. Like dying on a school trip. I think it's safe to say that I'll probably stick to one-piece swimsuits from now on. Those bikini tops are a total hazard, to say the least.